From special details to unique damage buffs, here are 11 things in Destiny 2 that you might not know. Many Guardians know about the scannable locations around the tower. This terminal looks like it's in use as a forum for dead orbit folks. But did you know that either by design or by accident, some of the oldest scannables in the game, like this one directly underneath where you first load in, are no longer working. These used to have points that would talk about stuff in the Red War, so it's curious to know whether Bungie's trying to move on from that chapter of Destiny, or if this is just a bug so small it's just not worth fixing. Did you know that for both of your basic hunter dodges, you can cancel them immediately into a super? It sounds basic, but because the super has such a high priority almost every other animation in the game, this can be extremely useful if you pair this with certain abilities and certain exotics. Ever since the introduction of Void 3.0 and the Witch Queen, it is possible to have more than one elemental flavored companion at a time. But did you know that Bungie made a special orbiting animation when you have both your Void Buddy and your Arc Buddy out at the same time? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any special animation if you also have a no time to explain portal up. There are a few places in the tower that with the floor is lava buff you can get from here, you can break out of. Just follow the path that you're seeing here after getting that increased speed and jump height and have fun looking at places Bungie definitely wasn't planning on you ever seeing. This next one is especially appropriate because it's Halloween and the Halloween event is live, but player armor does not determine your hitbox. Even if you have a massive broken traveler ping pong ball on your noggin, your guardian can only be damaged from where your head would actually be, or at least close to it thanks to aim assist and bullet magnetism. Bullets don't actually come out of the barrel of your gun. You might know that you can still shoot a target even though your gun logically would be shooting at a wall. This is because bullets only check for line of sight from the player's camera, which is often located in the head, in other words, your reticle, but you can do the inverse of this trick by having your gun stick around a corner even though your head is invisible. You won't be able to shoot a guardian even though your gun technically can Wait, what? So as we were testing this, it turns out that this rule is mostly true. Due to some unknown wizardry, rounds will actually hit targets, but only sometimes. We tested this further and found out that glaives and grenade abilities also followed the same rules of requiring actual line of sight from the point of the weapon. Glaives can't hit targets from your right side of a wall, and grenades won't be able to reach a target from the left side of a wall. If you can think of more gun to camera mishaps like this, subscribe and let us know in the comments. I'm definitely interested in hearing them. Unless you play highly aggressively in PvP, you might not know that you can actually start moving right before the fade to black screen ends. This can allow you to get into the best parts of the map ever so slightly faster than your enemy team, preventing them from setting up their sniper rifle firing squad. You might notice either your name or the names of other guardians might have the seemingly random assortment of symbols and numbers. These are actually failures on whatever system Bungie runs their player names through to convert Unicode into symbols. Well, symbols into Unicode and vice versa. This one here is a right-facing apostrophe, not one that you can actually see on your keyboard, and this one here is a heart. These likely happened because these players copied and pasted their names into Bungie's name creation rather than just typing it out. Obviously that is true of the heart symbol, unless somebody can figure out how to type a heart on the normal English keyboard. You probably never took the time to look at them because you were locked into deadly combat. 
but many of the weapon-based supers have very intricate details engraved into them, like the Sentinel Shield, the Arc Staff, and the Hammer of Soul. Even the golden guns have different models depending on what type you are using. Whether the three shot gives you something similar to an IS Luna model, or the six shot golden gun giving you something similar to the last word. Interestingly, both when examining the ability and in the game, the Sentinel's throwing shield melee ability has an iron banner design rather than a Titan logo from their super. Kind of weird. Ding. Do you have a lot of enhancement prisms, but not a lot of enhancement cores? Me neither. But a few of my friends actually did, and this was the trick they used to convert enhancement prisms into the cores. Simply go to your collections and reacquire some blue armor from the leveling section and upgrade it to the eighth tier. This will be the tier that will require you to actually spend an enhancement prism, and then dismantle it, and voila! You've effectively purchased cores for the price of one enhancement prism. Fun fact, sticking a target with the Wither Horde makes the game treat them as if they were a taken enemy. This may seem pointless as you're going to shoot them in the face regardless, but this means that weapons like Malfeasance and Wish Ender actually deal a slight amount of bonus damage from their exotic perks to targets that are stuck by the Wither Horde Blast. If you like this video, subscribe and press that like button. Check out this video here for more content that pushes the limits of Destiny knowledge. Bless your faces and deuces.